Hey guys, good morning. It's day one of a brand new week and we are going to start something really fun this week. It is one of my most favorite things to teach and that is author study. I love, love, love author study. So at the very beginning of the year, we talked about the author Kevin Hanks and the one of the books that he's written is called Chrysanthemum. So most of you know that story about the little girl that goes to school and her name is really long and different and then she has to learn to like it and how that difference makes her special and then around christmas time we talked about jan brett and i love jan brett she's one of my favorites we read lots of fun stories that she has written about trolls and hedgehogs and all kinds of fun creatures and animals and then not that long ago, we talked about the author Theodore Seuss, otherwise known as Dr. Seuss. And we learned a lot of cool facts about him and the stories that he writes and how they rhyme and their words go together like poetry. So this week we're going to talk about one more author and he is one of my favorites. Really, I like all these authors because... I mean, why not? It's lots of fun. So this guy's name is Mo Willems. Here's a picture of him. Do you notice that he's got a bird on his head? Why would he have a bird on his head? It's kind of silly, right? So Mo Willems has a pigeon on his head, and that's kind of a clue for you about some of the books he writes. And they are the pigeon books. I'm trying to point at him. Pigeon. I had to leave pigeon back there because sometimes he starts talking and then I can't turn him off. So he's back there. But there's pigeon. So pigeon is one of the books that Mo Willems writes. And I love the pigeon books. So each day we're going to talk a little bit more about Mo Willems. And Miss Craig is going to read a book about him for you guys. Or a book he's written for you guys. So one of the books that Mo Willems has written is the pigeon books and there is a ton a ton a ton of these so i feel like you guys have probably read one of them but this one's still with the pigeon drive but another book he has written are or another set of books he has written are the piggy and elephant books and there's a lot of these too so he's written all the piggy and elephant books Let's see what here. this one oh i love this one nuffle bunny I read Nuffle Bunny. Love that one too. This is one I hadn't read um, until last year. And this one is called Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Let's see what else we got. Got a couple more over here. This one is Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Naked. And then we have Pigeon Goes to School. And that's all I have here at my house, but we're going to read one of these each day. And if you guys are interested in these, you can always go on Storyline Online or one of the library sites that Ms. Craig has sent your parents on the weekly doc with all of our, um, with all of the links that you need and read some more. There's a lot of Mo Willems books on YouTube. So if you're really interested, you can always search for some more about We're going to read some each day. All right. So the one I'm going to read this week, I'm going to start with. Don't let Pigeon drive the bus because everybody loves Pigeon. So one thing about Mo Willems' text is that they are all fiction. They're totally made up because pigeons can't talk. And a lot of his characters are pigeons or the elephants or the pigs or it's the Nuffle Bunny. So they're um, characters that aren't people, but we've learned that characters are not just people. They can be little monsters or little creatures or little animals. It's whoever the text is mostly about. And this one is mostly about pigeon. So let's read it. Look at pigeon. Pigeon's got a lot of these thought bubbles or these conversation bubbles. So this one's a thought bubble because it's showing what he's thinking. And he's a dreaming. He's having all these dreamy thoughts about a bus. See him dreaming about the bus? That's what he's doing. He's thinking about a bus. Like Miss Craig dreams about chocolate and coffee. He's dreaming about a bus. 
And then there's this other character in here, and he's the bus driver. So he, this is his speech bubble. The bus driver's talking. Let's see what he has to say. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, and then look what he says in big letters. So that means he's saying it in a big voice. Don't let Pigeon drive the bus. And then look, bus driver's leaving. But see Pigeon's little head? It's up to something. Now Pigeon's talking. Here's his speech bubble. I thought he'd never leave. And then look at Pigeon's face. I love his expressions. It's almost like you can tell what he's thinking. Mm, look at his face. Looks like he's thinking to me. What's he thinking? Hey, can I drive the bus? Please, I'll be careful. Look at him begging, please. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. It means he'll just steer the bus wherever it's going. I'll just steer. My cousin Herp drives the bus almost every day. True story. Does it look like I can trust Pigeon over here? It doesn't look like he's very trustworthy. I'm not sure that I believe him. Vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. Mommy, come here. No. Come here. Rainy, I can't come here. I'm reading a book. For your kids? Yep. And sometimes that happens. Pigeon at the wheel. So now Pigeon is imagining himself driving the bus. He's making bus noises. He's thinking about what it would be like if he was driving. Look at his face. No? I never get to do anything. Sounds like Granny Craig when I tell her no. That's usually what she has to say. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. So he's got a lot to say here. Check this out. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? What's the big deal? It's just a bus. No fair. I bet your mom would let me. I have dreams, you know. Fine. And look at how his face changes in each block. Like he's begging and asking and pleading and telling and getting frustrated. And at the very end where he says, fine. Like he's pouting. Some of you look like that when you ask your teachers to do things and we tell you, no, you pout too. It's like, look at him. Ooh, I think that's a mad pal, because look at above his head. His eyes are cut sideways. Looks like he's got scribbly mad thoughts. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great. Thanks a lot. Get hey, pigeon. Uh-oh. What happened? Craig missed a page. We have to do it again. Let's go back. Remember this page where he was pouting? See it? I missed a page. 
Let me drive the bus. Look at him, he is mad now. Let me drive the bus. Eyes are red, pop it out of his head. Oh, he's angry. Now he's mad and scribbly, see? His ass. Now the bus driver's back. And Pigeon says, uh-oh. What's it saying uh-oh for? What happened? Bus driver's back, he said. Bye. Oh, I feel bad for Pigeon. He just wants to drive the bus. Hey. Uh-oh. Uh, look, now what's he dreaming of? He's dreaming of driving a truck. Can't drive a bus. Maybe he can drive a truck. Oh, pigeon. And that is the end. So, before we read, we talked about um, the book's genre. And that means what kind of book is it? Is it a book about poetry? Is it a book that's nonfiction that gives us facts and information? No, we didn't learn anything from this book. It was just fun to read. It was a great story. So this was a fiction text. Had a beginning, a middle, and an end. The problem was the pigeon wasn't allowed to drive the bus. So um, those are the elements that we find in a fiction text. Those are the things that we look for. So I want you guys to do some reading today on your own. And I want you to see if you can find a fiction text. And I want you to practice looking for those things. Looking for the characters, thinking about what happens at the beginning, the middle, and the end. And then seeing if there's a problem and a solution in them, okay? Miss Craig is going to drop a um, link in the document that your parents are in. And it's to Mo Willem's website, and I want you guys to go and check it out because his website is so much fun. It's funny, and he's got these um, interviews that he does, and he shows you how to draw. It's called Mo Willem's Doodles at Lunch or something, and it shows you how to draw some of the characters. And I love his website. I think you guys will really like it. So I'm going to put that link in there so you can check it out some this week, and we will talk about some talk about him some more when we meet back tomorrow. All right. I will see you guys later. Bye.